Jordan Peterson has tweeted to Netanyahu, give him hell, advocating violence against the Palestinians. What is your response to Jordan Peterson and the like? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, قَدْ بَدَتِ الْبَغْضَاءُ مِنْ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَمَا تُخْفِي صُدُرُهُمْ أَكْبَرُ Hatred has appeared from their tongues and the hatred that their hearts conceal is even more so. Uh, this is a person that I have been seeing his videos on and off. There's no doubt there's some issues that are positive, but I have always found him to be an ardent supporter of Zionism against our Palestinian brothers and sisters. And this has shown clearly from the very beginning. Uh, this recent tweet of his once again indicates that not just him, but overall, so many of our politicians, so many of our pseudo philosophers, they're looking at this entire, at this entire reality from an extremely, extremely skewed narrative. How can one ignore 80 years of oppression? How can one ignore 80 years of colonization? How can one ignore 80 years of direct taking over of the lands and the peoples? People that are not even Muslim, Nelson Mandela and others have mentioned that uh, the Palestinians have been treated at times worse than uh, uh, Nelson Mandela says and some policies worse than the South Africans were treated uh, under the apartheid regime. How can we ignore this reality? And then when Palestinians attack back, what their oppression has been is ignored and that one attack is highlighted. So the reality is that this type of one-sided reporting and this type of narrative in which only one side is perceived as the, as the victim and the other side is completely ignored, it is about time we demolish this narrative. Let us take a look at the full picture. Fact of the matter is that our Palestinian brothers and sisters, their land, their lives, their peoples have been taken over for three generations. For how long will they remain like this? The world has been completely ignoring their plight. I have visited that land multiple times. I've interacted with the Palestinians. Why is there a Palestinian diaspora around the world? Over 10 million Palestinians are scattered around the world. Their ancestors have keys to their homes. How come nobody, look, nobody looks at them? Nobody sees their stories. Nobody sees that Gaza is the largest open air prison in the world. Do you know who said this? Our own president, Jimmy Carter of America. Jimmy Carter visited that land and said this is the largest open air prison that he has ever seen. Millions of people cramped in a small area, completely controlled by the surrounding uh, territories. How come nobody sees the conditions they're living in? The refugee camps and the squalor that is happening for millions of people. So subhanAllah, this person, all I can say back to him, as Allah says in the Quran, قُلْ مُوتُوا بِغَيْظِكُمْ Perish in your rage. His fate and the fate of all of those who support apartheid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of them. May Allah azza wa jal protect our brothers and sisters who are oppressed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant victory to those who have been oppressed for decades and decades. May we see victory to all of these oppressed brothers and sisters. May Allah azza wa jal cause us all to be instruments of khair in that region. <laughs> إذا ما قال لي ربي أما استحييته تعصيني ولا تخشى من العتب وتخفي الذنب عن خلقي وتأبى في الهوى قربي فتب مما جنيت عسى تعود إلى رضا الرب تعود إلى رضا الرب